Well, hello there, paleontologists. How are you doing now that it's the middle of the week? I know, this week has gone by super fast. Do you remember what reptile we've been studying? Muy bien, we've been studying dinosaurs, and we've learned that they are not mutants, and we know that they go through a life cycle. We also learned that their tails help them defend themselves, but they also help them make sure that they don't fall over. Today, I thought we would take some time to learn about, what di about dinosaurs and what they eat. Yesterday, at the end of, the, of our time together, I had mentioned three words. They were carnivore, herbivore, and omnivore. How many of you have heard of these words before? Hey, that rhymes. Wow, many of you have, and you're right. Carnivore means a living thing that eats and survives with just meat. It's like the word carne, which in Spanish means meat. Some dinosaurs were carnivores. Oh, here we go. Herbivores are living things that only eat and survive on plants. I remember this because in Spanish we can, we can call plants hierbas, which sort of translates to herbs. Some dinosaurs were herbivores. The last word is omnivore. An omnivore is a living thing that can survive off of eating plants and meat, like us humans. Some dinosaurs were omnivores. But if we eat something and it goes away after we digest it, how did paleontologists figure out what dinosaurs ate? You're not sure? That's okay. We're going to learn about it right now. Anyways, paleontologists oftentimes have to excavate fossils. That means to dig up impressions of living things that died a very long time ago. In these fossils, paleontologists would see the shape of different dinosaurs' teeth, and the shape would tell them what the dinosaur ate. Let's look at the different shapes of teeth that I made with paper. So I made this one. It's just one tooth. And I also made this one. They're very small. So the sharper teeth are used for ripping and chewing meat. And the flatter teeth were used for grinding down plants. I was thinking that the best way to learn this would be to make the teeth ourselves. So if you would like to make some dino teeth with me, you'll need paper, a writing utensil, scissors, and a marker, or you can use the same other, other writing utensil. If you don't have scissors, you can just draw with me and not cut it out. But let me make sure I have all of my supplies. Okay, I said scissors, writing utensil, marker. I'm gonna get three pieces of paper. All right, so let's start with the carnivorous teeth. So these are gonna be sharp. So on my paper, I'm going to use the bottom as a straight line, and I'm going to draw sharp teeth. And remember, if you don't have scissors, you can stop right here. But if you do have scissors, we're going to cut the teeth out. And try to make sure that they're sharp scientists because we want to make sure these teeth are pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. Great job. Let's make sure to write carnivore on the teeth. Car, C, A, R. Ooh, I'm going to have to check my word. V O R E. Carnivore. Next, let's make the teeth of an herbivore. We'll leave these teeth over here. And so it's not straight, but it's not pointy either. All right. 
that gives me some creative liberty. So I'm gonna kinda, oh, I read in my research that some were kinda leaf shaped. So I'm gonna make them all different sizes, kinda squiggly lines. I'll make another big tooth. All right, and again, if you don't have scissors, this is where you're gonna stop while the rest of us cut. It looks like some dinosaurs really needed to go to the dentist. But there weren't any humans at the time. Maybe there's a dinosaur dentist. That one's really hard to cut. Ooh, that's okay. Awesome work. Let's write herbivore on these teeth. Uh, oh, it doesn't start with an R, it starts with H E R. B B I. Vor, V O R E, herbivore. Herbivore. Great. Mm -hmm. So, if an animal eats both types of food, I think they would need both types of teeth, right? What are human teeth like? You know, because we're omnivores. That's right, we have pointed and flat teeth. So let's make the teeth and then write omnivore on them. I'm gonna kind of make it like mine. I have a couple pointed teeth and a couple flat teeth. I'm gonna use the other side of this paper so I can see this. All right, so I'm gonna draw some flat teeth and some sharp ones. And some more flat ones. My dinosaurs have a lot of gaps in their teeth. All right, and now I'm gonna cut them out. This is hard to cut scientists, but I'm gonna try my hardest. Meat ripping teeth. Great job cutting with me. All right, here's our last carnivorous tooth. Herbivorous teeth. All right, and now I'm gonna write omnivore on it. Om. N. N. I. Vor. V. O. R. E. V. Kind of looks like San Francisco. <laughs> Buenísimo. So, paleontologists, today we learned about the different things that dinosaurs used to eat. Even though we didn't learn exactly what they ate, we can at least know if they ate other animals, plants, or both, like us. What was something new that you learned today? Oh, that was an interesting thing to learn. Something new to me was the word herbivore. I always thought that vegetarian was a word for a living thing that eats plants. Well, gracias for learning with me today. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.